Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Guys, today not doing anything major. It is a Sunday and so it's just like getting ready for the week. <laughs> I'm going to be cleaning out my car, but I am going to try to make some barilla tacos maybe or maybe some ramen. I don't know. We'll see what how it comes out. First of all, basically all I'm doing is filling a pot of water. Nothing major. And Robert found these at the store for a discount and they look really good. So, and he got two of them. So that's what I'm doing. So we could do some barilla tacos or something, maybe make it in ramen. I don't know, we'll see. Here lately guys, it's just been um, me and him for dinner and stuff like that. Just cause my kids are working nonstop school and work. That's all they do. Anyways. Well, anyways, welcome back to our channel. Um, if y'all are new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, we do a lot of different things here. Um, different vlogs and um, DIYs. I'm going to be cooking today. Cleaning out my car. Because <laughs> it is a wreck, guys. A wreck. So today, he's cleaning out my car. Robert's working on his car. I think he's doing like an oil change or something. I don't know. Um, I'm going to show y'all his uh, 56 Chevy too. Um, he is working on that a little bit and um, little by little is getting it running and going but I mean it takes plenty of time and money so anyways um, he's just doing a little bit of stuff here and there um, what else oh, yeah so don't forget to like subscribe we do a little bit of um, I'm gonna have surgery so surgery talk um, and just hanging out with the fam <laughs> all right guys let me get this meat going and then that way i can go outside and start working on my car because it's a mess i want my hands I'm just going to cut it up into some cubes, guys, and put it in some water. Then I'll put all the seasonings and stuff in there. And guys, I'm cutting them kind of small so that way um, they cook faster. Okay, so right now I've already chopped up all the meat. What I'm gonna do is um, get some veggies together and kind of put it in there. I like to do different veggies like um, um, carrots, onions, bell peppers, some chile serrano stuff. We'll see. Carrots, for sure. I have a half a bag, so I'm just gonna put all of them in there. Um, a lot of people do that consomme where you can dip your tacos and I know it's like oil based and this and that and sometimes it's just too, too watery. I don't know. I like it. I like the taste of it. I just like it to be a little bit thicker. So for me, <clears throat> so for me, I do a thicker base which consists of, all right guys. So for me, it consists of carrots, jalapenos. Oh, hold on, I think I got, yeah. 
So I even have, um, you want your meat to have flavor. So like I said, I put a lot of flavors. I put seasonings and then I put a bunch of these too. You get them at the meat market. These are chiles, Ohio, Ohio, something like that. <laughs> this is the bag I get. But anyways, I cut them up, take out the seeds and then put in the skins. They're hard. They're like, like hard. And basically you just cut them down and the seeds start falling out, so. So this is what it should look like right now. Okay guys. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with seasonings. And you may think I'm going overboard, but guys with this kind of meat, I think you need to go a little bit overboard because so that way it has flavor. We're doing beef, but I'm gonna put in some chicken bouillon. I'm gonna put some gar minced garlic. I'm putting onion powder, even though I put some onion in it. I'm doing this one. It's carne asada seasoning. Uh, I'm gonna do this one. This one has garlic, herbs, and black pepper, and sea salt. And then this is the fajita seasoning I get at the meat market every time. Like you could tell I use a lot of it because I always get the big one and I always run out pretty quick. So I use it on everything. I use it all the time. So this is the one I get, like I said, from the meat market. Um, but I'm just gonna go in and start. This one has kind of like a kick to it. So I like that. I think that'll go well with the jalapenos and the chili. Onion. And guys, I always guess on garlic stuff, so. All right, so as is, I'm just gonna kind of mix it up a little bit and then put it on the stove. It's about almost two o'clock right now. So this should be good for dinner time. Um, I'm gonna show y'all what I do. Once it's kind of cooked down, I get all the big stuff, the veggies and all that, um, and I put it into a blender, blend it up. That's all the carrots, tomatoes, everything other than the meat. Um, I put it into um, the blender. Um, I do get a little of the oil. You'll see once it starts to boil. I don't know, this one is kind of lean. Usually I get one that is a little more fatty, but I would usually scrape up the oil and put it in there and then blend all that up. That kind of makes my own consomme because I like it thicker. And I do use some of the juices from it, but I will be showing that to y'all uh, when it gets time. But I'm gonna just put that on top of the stove and go ahead and set it to like a medium high. And then we're gonna go outside and clean my car cause it's a mess. <laughs> I just 
get outside guys and Robert's already almost done with my oil change. Took me a little bit longer. Okay guys, this is a little bit embarrassing, but my car is a mess. <laughs> but I'm cleaning it out, so it's really nice outside. The weather is, what are, what are we in, 60s or something? I think today in Dallas, we're getting close to 70s, and it's really nice outside. It's always cold and all that, so decided to take advantage and um, kind of clean out my car, because I don't do it at all and wipe it down and all that other good stuff. But anyways. Basically, I just brought a bunch of trash bags so I can take a bunch of shit inside. Or trash. I have old french fries in here. I don't even know who these are. Oh, is it a pen? This is a charger. One earring. One trash. Keychains. Are we keeping keychains? This is the longest charging cord ever. Why do I have it in the car? I have no idea. Why did I find a softball? My daughter hasn't even played in over a year. <laughs> Over the glass cleaner, guys. My front window. If you're wondering, yes, I live in Texas and it's hot as hell all the time, but when it's cold, it's cold. And I keep a blanket in my car <laughs> just in case it's cold. Usually it's morning times, but yeah, I have a blanket in the car. All right guys, so I'm done with the car. Obviously it's not perfect, <laughs> but it is way better than what it was. Guys, we're in the garage. And I don't think we've ever showed you the truck. I know Robert's working on a video for it, but this is his truck. 
It's a 56 Chevy, right, man? Yes, ma'am. 56, 56 Chevy, and he works on it daily. Little by little, it'll get there. <laughs> you can see one of the other videos. Um, we bought it, did a video on that, brought it home. No, we didn't. We didn't put a video out. There's another video. We'll be working on it. Again. Yeah, we bought it, brought it home. Another video um, showing that I um, actually took out the old front suspension and put in a new suspension called a Mustang 2 front suspension. Not from It's not from a Mustang like a lot of people think. It's the actual design from the old Ford Mustang that a lot of people copy now. It just makes it an independent front suspension. Gives it a better ride. Actually lowers it about three, four inches from factory. So that's done. I'm gonna do a video on that. And um, the, up, the latest update is actually getting the motor in um, right now motors on blocks i just finished mounting the uh, transmission mount uh got my friend who's gonna come weld the transmission mount i gotta fabricate the uh motor mounts and then he will weld those and then the motor is officially in so that's a big step but um that'll be a video later so <laughs> stay tuned guys anyways um i'm about done here with doing the inside of the car i'm gonna go check on the meat inside so Let's go. Oh, guys, I just walked in and the house smells great. It's coming along pretty good. Okay, guys, so while the meat is cooking, I was kind of productive today, guys. I worked on a video this morning and I probably got to work on another one here in a minute. But, um,. Meat is cooking, dinner's cooking, car's done. Yeah, so I'll see y'all when I get back. Hey guys, so it's been a couple hours later. Maybe an hour and a half. <laughs> I've just been here kind of um, editing, waiting for the meat to finish cooking. Um... Yep, just been here, just working on videos, and I wanted to show y'all. I started um, taking out some of the veggies and um, putting them in a blender. Meat right now is still boiling. I put the veggies in a blender. And I'm just gonna probably blend them up. I'm gonna keep fishing out more of the carrots and stuff like that. <laughs> and then um, get to blending stuff up and chopping stuff up and make some kind of tacos or something. <laughs> Okay, so the meat is still a little bit hard. <laughs> Not that much, but a little bit. I like it really tender where you can just kind of like pull it apart. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up and then um, pour some into it so that way the meat still has the flavoring and stuff like that. This is so good right now. I'm just, I think I'm just gonna put a little bit more liquid in it. I think it's perfect. All right guys, this is so thick you can eat it like a dip. So I got some chips. <laughs> so I know the whole Berea tacos, it's like a oily kind of a dip. Me and Robert like something like this that's a little bit thicker. I'm going to get Robert to taste it to see what he thinks it means. But, babe, come try this. 
I think it's the best I've ever made. You're on camera. It's really hot to grab them. Mm. Guys, look. It's steaming hot, too. Okay, this is awesome. It's great, really. Guys, the only bad thing about making this is that it makes your whole kitchen like a messy, I guess. I use a lot of, well, not even a lot of pots. It's more the utensils. The blender, the big pot, so many different utensils that I use. I use to strain, I use to pick up the meat, then we're gonna chop it, this and that. Well, so yeah, it makes the whole kitchen kind of messy. It's already kind of messy, but more than that. <laughs> All right, we'll come back once it's ready and I'm gonna start chopping up really fine. All right guys, so pretty much the meat has been chopped up and put into a pot, kind of still simmering a little bit. The sauce is made. I'm just gonna make some tacos and then call it a night, guys. Um, Robert is here watching some football games, so I'm gonna eat and go watch some games with him and call it a night. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me, guys. Um, can't wait to see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, all right, guys. Talk to you later. See you on the next one. Bye.